Let's Beat Spanish, podcast number eight for absolute beginners, and today we're talking about the future. Hola, Cindia. Hola, Gordon. ¿Qué te cuentas? Pues nada, poca cosa. Poca Estamos, cosa. Sí, grabando. Vale. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué te cuentas? Nada, aquí, aquí, pero feliz. Bien. Sí, feliz. Qué bien, me alegro. Sí. Gracias. <risa> eh, bueno, today we're going to talk about the future. Now, in Spanish, just as there is in English, there are three kinds of future, which we discuss later on and as you progress through the, the levels. But for the moment, we're going to discuss one kind of future, and we, we're discussing this one because it's probably, and I think you might agree with me, Cynthia, um, I think you should, uh, is probably the most used and the most uh, common future. And that's the I'm going to a place or I'm going to do something. Yeah? Um, now, it's a very simple, it's, it's very simple because it's the same as in English. Yeah? All that you need to do is you need to learn the, um, the conjugation of the verb to go. Now, the verb to go is, Cynthia? Ir. Ir. It's the smallest verb that exists in Spanish, I believe. It's the only one with two letters, I-R. Okay? However, it's very irregular. The conjugation looks nothing like the verb. Okay? So, Cynthia, would you like to talk us through the, the conjugation, please? Sure. Yo voy. Tú vas. Él, ella, va. Nosotros... Vamos. Vosotros vais. Ellos van. Very good. And as always, beautifully pronounced. Just like a Spanish person. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Almost as if you were. Um, <laughs> now, boy. We'll just we'll start with boy, okay? Now it starts with a V, but it's pronounced with as a B, as all, all Spanish Vs are. So, boy. Now, when you're talking about going somewhere, let's say you're going to a place, um, you say boy, and then it's always followed, 99 times out of 100, with a, two, okay? So, boy, a, and then let's say you're going to the beach, which is la playa, boy, a, la playa, okay? So, that's liberty. I'm going to the beach. It's as simple as that. Unless, Unless. we have, we go, we go into a place that is masculine. Yes. And then, instead of saying boy a, it would be boy al. For example, supermercado. Mm -hmm. El supermercado. So that would be boy al supermercado. Because the e plus the el, the fusion Fused together. together yeah. And they become al. Why? Because it sounds a bit clumsy to say voy a el supermercado. Okay, so they don't like to say a el, they just fuse it together. That's the only, in all of these with voy a, it would be voy a la, voy a los, voy a las, but voy al. For masculine singular. For masculine singular, okay. So then you've got a choice of adding a place, which we just done, voy al supermercado or voy a la playa, or you can add a verb, a doing word, to say, I'm going to do something. For example, uh, Cynthia, how might you say, I'm going to eat with friends? Voy a comer con amigos. Perfect. Um, now, one of the things that you can do with this tense is you can put time markers on it. Because you can say, well, I'm going to do this, but we need to know when. So, the time markers are today, hoy, tomorrow, mañana, on Friday, el viernes. Now, that's important. We say on the day, they say the day. So any day of the week, el lunes or el martes. You just put L in front. So that's a specific day. At the weekend. El fin de semana. 
the end of week. Okay, another starting with L, we say at. They say the. Um, and then if you want to be more specific within the day, okay, you can say, for example, tomorrow morning. Now the Spanish say tomorrow through the morning. Now as it happens that the morning is la mañana. Not to be confused with mañana, which actually is a masculine word. They just don't have the, the L in front of it. So mañana is tomorrow, but if you say la mañana, that's the morning. So how would you say tomorrow morning, Cynthia? Mañana por la mañana. Okay, so tomorrow through the morning. And tomorrow afternoon would be? Mañana por la tarde. And then tomorrow evening or night? Mañana por la noche. Okay. So, for example, Cynthia, if I was going to say tomorrow night, I'm eating in a restaurant. How would that go? I'm going to eat. I'm restaurant. going to eat, yeah. Mañana por la noche voy a comer en un restaurante. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you see how it all fits together? Voy a comer. You put your time marker on it. When? When are you going to do it? We can also learn, for example, next week, Yeah. next month, mm -hmm. or next year. So what would be next week then? La semana que viene. Mm. Or la semana próxima. But I would use que viene because you don't have to change it. Okay. Because Proxima, you can change to Proximo. Yeah, if you were talking if about a month. If you're time. talking about something masculine. But if you say que viene, it's always que viene. No. And what that means is la semana que viene is the week that comes. That's coming. Yeah. So um, we have la semana que viene, el mes que viene, el año que viene. Okay. So with this future tense you put your marker on you might want to say next year we're going on holiday we're going to go we're going to go I'm well there you are we're going to go you keep me right Cynthia we're going to go on holiday okay now there's something there's a little thing that you need to add to all of this typically it goes boy a ah, but there are a couple or th a couple or a few examples where it won't be a, it'll be de. Okay? And this is one of them when you talk about being going on holiday. Because we say on holiday, which doesn't make sense. And the Spanish say of holiday, which doesn't make sense either. Makes sense. <laughs> to them. Sí. Okay. So how would that be? So next year um, we are going, we are going to go on holiday. El año que viene vamos a ir de vacaciones. Okay, de vacaciones. And the same applies when you're saying tomorrow I'm going, uh, I'm going shopping. Or camping. Mm -hmm. Or ir yeah. de. Mm -hmm. So how would that be tomorrow I'm going shopping? Mañana voy de compras. Okay. Voy o mañana voy a ir de compras. Yeah. So it works. It can work both ways. It can be, uh, you can say, voy uh, de compras, or voy al centro, I'm going to the center. Or you can add an extra bit and you can say, voy a ir al centro, I'm going to go. It's entirely up to you. One's quicker, isn't it? Well, the, the feature we're doing now is, I'm going to go. Going to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Keeping an eye on No, but you can. It's much quicker to do it the other way. Another domestic happening. Right. <laughs> In every video. Every video. Now, um, how about practicing this and Cynthia between you and I? And we can talk about what we're going to do going forward. Yeah? Vale. Gordon, ¿qué vas a hacer esta tarde? Esta tarde. Um, a las tres y media voy a ir a una clase. Mm -hmm de español y por la noche voy a tener una clase aquí en casa. ¿Y tú qué vas a hacer fin día mañana por la mañana? Mañana por la mañana 
voy a tener una clase, voy a pasear a mi perro, voy a limpiar la casa y voy a ir de compras con mi hijastra. Ah, muy bien. Ok, so that's how it works. It's very simple, very handy, and it's great conversation asking people what they're going to do. Ok, so, hope that's been ok for you. Um, nos vamos, and we'll see you in the next podcast. Hasta luego. Adiós.